everyone. Our quick tip today is all about cutting felt without ruining your mat. Now this is a really important part because quite often when you cut felt, some will leave a lot of debris behind, some won't, and you can actually use this tip for cutting leather as well. So it's actually quite simple. So we're just going to create a little design and I'm going to give it to you in the resource library. So if you'll notice in the resource library, when you go to free.creativecraftersclub.com or as a member, it's the same thing, it's hub.creativecraftersclub.com, you'll find number 403, the felt butterfly. All right, let's head over to design space. And here I have it all uploaded and I'm just going to click on it, Whoop. click on it and add it to the canvas. Now we have two parts to the butterfly and I want to just cut these out of two different colors of felt in order for me to work with it. Now I don't need to recolor them here because I want to cut them out on the same mat and just save a little time and effort. So we're just going to go straight over to make it. And when we hit make it, you'll see the two. I'm just going to leave them close together here, but I'm going to just move them down so it's easier for me to place them on the mat. If I move this down to nine inches, I notice that I need one, two, three and a half inches of felt. This one is at the top and I need just over five inches. So I will be able to butt those up together. So I will put this piece down first and then I will add this piece at the bottom. So I go a little bit over five, I can butt that up. All right, let's go to continue. I'll select my device here. And I just want to go over the materials. I'm going to browse materials here and I'm just going to type in felt. Now there's all kinds of felt. We have a felt wool fabric, we have felt wool bonded, a stiff felt, a glitter bonded felt, a craft bonded, an acrylic felt fiber, and this felt itself. And the felt that Cricut provides is the first one. The one I buy at the dollar store is the felt acrylic fabric, and that's the one I'm going to use here. Just going to click on done. And it's going to ask me for a rotary blade. Now, if you're not using a Maker 3, it will give you another blade option. So let's move over to the demo desk. So here we have some of our supplies. And in this little trick, I'm going to use a piece of transfer paper that is Cricut transfer paper. You could use vinyl or anything else. I'll just take my cover off here. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut this butterfly. I've clipped it together because I'm going to glue it and use it later. Now this little trick, I'm going to put my transfer paper down on the mat. That is the first thing I am going to do. Push it down on the mat like this. And I'm going to pull the backing off. And the reason being is that with the sticky part now from the transfer paper is going to be facing up. And that's how I'm going to hold my felt together. Now I just put it on sideways. I should have put it the other way. Let me just grab it off of here. As you can see, that's the sticky side. I'm just going to put it into place. It's sticky going on sticky, so it's not that easy to place sometimes. There we go. Now, for the first piece of my felt, I wanted a piece that was about five, but I made mine just a little bit smaller. So all you need to do is place your felt on the two pieces of felt and just stick them on that way. I just use a brayer tool to hold them into place. Now I would go ahead and pull that and cut it on the machine. I already have mine cut out into the two pieces. I made them a little bit smaller and you can make them as large as you want. So this actually fits on here. And that would cut out here and this one cut out here. The biggest key behind this is now when I go to pull it off the mat, I'm pulling it off the transfer paper and all of the debris from the felt is going to stick to this transfer paper rather than to stick to your mat. 
and it's a lot easier to keep your mat clean and then all I need to do is just put my protective cover back down on it if I want to use this again and pull it off the mat and my mat stays perfectly clean so I hope you can use this little trick and this is cutting out this gorgeous little butterfly.